everyone. So in today's video, we are gonna be slabbing rare bullseye jasper. It's really beautiful stuff, it's from Nevada. Before I tell you why it's rare, let me show you this beautiful specimen. So here it is, raw Goldfield bullseye jasper. We're gonna be making some slabs on it this way. Hopefully we can get three or four decent chunks because in the future, I wanna do some more uh, polishing of this stuff, making some cabs and all that. And this is dry and it is that beautiful. <laughs> I'm really excited to get these slabs made, get some clean cuts, see how this stuff looks. So the reason why this piece is rare is because it was found a while back at a pay to dig site and that site is no longer there. It's now private property. So you can't get stuff like this, at least at that site anymore. So we're gonna be slabbing this on my 10 inch slab saw from High Tech Diamond. I still gotta fill it up, put the top on and all that stuff. So let's do that real quick. So while this is filling, I wanna to say to you, I do have a few other stones I'm gonna be cutting while I'm out here, but they're not gonna be in this video. I'm cutting those for some clips for Instagram and Facebook. If you guys don't follow me on there, check the description box below. I'll put the link to both of my Agadad Instagram and Facebook accounts down there. And as always, I have my PPE. I want you guys to know later in the video, I'm gonna be doing a safety demonstration to show you how safe this saw is. Alrighty, so she's filled up, she's ready to go. Let's turn it on. Start slapping. I'm gonna be soaking wet today because I think this piece is just a little too big for that splash guard. But yeah, we are gonna be slabbing, like I said, kind of like this way. We're gonna have a bunch of random pieces. That's okay because I'm gonna be trying to make as much out of this stuff as possible. It is such beautiful material. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just take a clean cut off the bottom so I have a flat surface to slide on, and then we'll start slabbing. All right, so we got ourselves a nice flat surface to slide this on. I'm gonna start working it this way. We'll start showing you some slabs. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> that took so long to cut that it is so hard but <laughs> check that out oh my gosh <laughs> oh my goodness it's so beautiful holy cannoli it's got a huge void in there i had to do some funky cutting to get this because it was just so big We'll clean that up and that took so long because I'm going to be making cabs and stuff out of this in the future. I'm not going to be making anything bigger than that. So I think just to save myself time, because that took honestly about 20 minutes to cut that. I'm just going to do slabs this way. That way I can get some more and show you some more. And I mean, each one's going to have this void in there anyway, because of how deep that runs. So. The pieces I'm going to be able to get that are workable are that big anyway, which is about the same size as that. So that's what we're going to do. But oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, that is pretty stuff. I'll do actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to do one test cut this way. If it doesn't look like that, then I'll slab it this way. But maybe I'll cut it in half like that and then do that. We'll just see. Let me slab one end off of this here. Got the same bullseye pattern in that one. So let's check this side. Also, I love this right here from here to here. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. Do we slab this one and then get to this one and slab it like that? I think that's probably what we should do. Huh? This stuff's taking so long to cut because it's so hard. It's so beautiful though. We might end up uh, having to do this in two nights just because this has taken so long. But I think now that we have smaller pieces, we'll be able to uh, start cutting through a little quicker. But yeah, pretty excited that it goes through that way too. That stuff is absolutely amazing. 
So unfortunately, I'm running out of daylight right now. I'm gonna have to do the rest of my slabbing at another day. But luckily for you guys, it's gonna be just a second. But before I go and get all the stuff cleaned up, I wanna do that safety demonstration I was telling you about. So with these lapidary saws, they don't cut like a normal saw. They don't have open toothed blades. They're a continuous blade and they don't cut the stone. They grind away at the stone. And to show you how safe they are, because I get so many comments about people saying, oh, you're gonna cut your finger off or something like that. I'm gonna show you what happens when I stick my finger on the blade while it's running. Oh, 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 it's, it's my hot dog. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. All jokes aside, it's a safe blade. Don't worry about it. It's just a hot dog. It's just a hot dog. Fun fact, it's really hard to draw on a hot dog with a Sharpie. It took me forever. I got Sharpie all over my counter. It, it, was, it was difficult. Put in a lot of work for you guys, just for that little joke. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> get this cleaned up. We'll see you in a sec. <laughs> I'm still laughing about that hot dog thing. But the weather's a little bit different today. It's a little on and off raining, got the umbrella out. But we're gonna slab up the rest of this stuff. I've been thinking about it since it's been a few days. We're gonna basically cut this in the middle here, since this is not viable for cabbing and stuff like that. I'm gonna cut this stuff this way. And since this back piece is pretty nice, this half, we're gonna cut this way. So I'm gonna get all that cut up and then we'll show you all the pieces when we're done. I'm gonna whip through this here. So I also wanna say too, because I forgot to mention this earlier in the video, but I received this Bullseye Jasper from somebody. And when I asked them, hey, do you want a shout out or anything like that? They said, no, just tell them a subscriber sent it to you. And I want to say, you know, man, you're definitely more than a subscriber. You're a good friend. And I appreciate you gifting this over to me so I can show everybody. We're going to do a lot of fun stuff with this. Thank you so much. So we got all that bullseye jasper cut up and I decided that I'm going to leave this big chunk for now till another day just because I felt like everything that we got got enough pieces to play with. Got a few little bits that kind of fractured off during the cuts. So I'll probably throw in a tumbler. But I'm really excited to show you these slabs because they are really beautiful. So yeah, like I said, probably going to leave this guy for another day. Some good material there. Great, great looking stuff. Same with this one. Probably leave that for another day. A lot of fractures in that one anyway. But yeah, some of these smaller pieces that I thought would be really fun to make some cabs or something out of. I left a little extra material on these just since I'm not super familiar with cabbing and if I mess up I could have a little extra wiggle room. Another beautiful piece. Probably right here if we did anything. This is just a little piece right here. That is pretty. That was just a fracture. Probably won't do anything with this. This is just the end of a piece. There's not a whole lot of material here. This is another piece that I just liked as a display piece. I know it's kind of beat up and stuff, but that was one of the first cuts we made on it. But that is really, really pretty. Absolutely love that. So here's some of the better slabbed pieces that we got. Look at that. How pretty is that? It's a giraffe and a crow. That's cool. <laughs> and then that's a couple of giraffes and birds. That's crazy. Right here. Sweet. 
that stuff is really, really beautiful. Very thankful to have been gifted this. Well, that is all the material that we are cutting in today's video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for all the future lapidary videos we're gonna have. Got a lot of stuff to cut. Thanks for watching.